Hey, what's up? Noise Works here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to mask out hair. So basically taking an image like this, mask it out, and putting it on top of a, a background and blending everything in. All right, so let's close this and let's get started. All right, first thing you want to do is duplicate the layer. Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC. And the next step is go to the channels. And what you try to do is select each one, the red, green, and blue, and see which one has the most contrast. Alright, so it looks like the blue channel has the most contrast. So what you want to do now is right click and duplicate it. Just click OK. And now to edit this, make sure is the only this layer is the only layer that is visible. And with this layer, what you want to do is invert it. Command I, Control I on a PC. Now what you want to do is go into full screen mode. Shortcut for that is the letter F. And now what you want to do is adjust the levels so all the dark areas around her goes all the way black. So Command L, Control L on a PC. Now what you want to do is adjust this, this slider right here. Bring it in until see all oh, this is um all black if you try to bring it all the way too much and try to make this all black down here you can see you can, you can see you start losing um all the strands on the hair if you zoom in see right there what you want to do is adjust it where you still see the strands of the hairs Alright, that's good. Click OK. Now even though you still have kind of white areas right here and a lot down here, I'm gonna show you a trick how to get rid of that. So let's click F again. Get out of full screen and then you go over here on the left. You go to the burn tool. Make sure on the range shadow selected. And let's go back into full screen mode. Click F again. F one more time until everything's all black. That way it's easier to see. Now let's zoom in. Now what the burn does is it burns basically all the uh, all the shadows, but not the highlights. So when you get kind of close to it, it doesn't affect it. So now what I'm doing, I'm just going around, burning everything. So basically, anything that's white is going to mask it. Everything else that's black is going to hide it. So that's what we're doing now. So burn everything. I'm going to try to go as quick as possible. Enlarge the brush. Now just go around, see where it needs to be burned. Alright, so that looks good. Over here a little bit. Alright, so now what you want to do is on the subject, make sure everything is all white and you can see some dark area so what I like to do is let's get out of full screen go over here to the lasso tool go back to full screen what I like to do is 
use the lasso to to select large area so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go around it and you go over here to the color palette and to make sure this is white alright so now you want to fill it in with all white and the shortcut for that is command delete on a Mac control delete on a PC once that's filled in command D to deselect control D on a PC and same thing use the lasso tool go around select everything Alright, command delete, fill it in, command D, deselect. So, the way we dodge this, go over here on the dodge tool, make sure the range is selected on highlight. And now let's zoom in. And the same thing, you go in, you dodge all this. zoom up alright I'm gonna zoom out enlarge the brush this is always gonna be quicker instead of zooming in alright dodge all this full screen mode so that looks pretty good I'm gonna get out of full screen now next thing we're gonna do is go back to the channels select the RGB make sure everything is visible and that's not visible go back to layers now what you want to do is go to select load selection on channels load the blue channel that we use editing click OK and with this selected go down here to mask click mask and then once you disable this you can see everything is all masked out so if you move it around you can see it command Z to undo Alright, so now let's bring in a background and I'm going to show you how to blend all the little strands and everything in. Alright, so this photo I got off uh, Shutterstock. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, go in here on the layers, right click, duplicate. Duplicate it to the uh, layer that we're working on. Click OK and close this. And then here's the layer. Make sure it's beneath the subject. All right. If you zoom in, you can still see there's some white around the hair. I'm gonna zoom out. 
All right, the way to get rid of that is what you want to do is this layer duplicated command J control J on a PC and disable the visibility on that and on this layer on the blending mode make sure it's on multiply and let's enable this layer with this layer you could uh, delete the uh, mask so if you go on the mask right click delete layer mask and what you want to do is use refine edge to mask this one and to do that is go down to this layer on the mask right here hold command control PC and click on it and it will have everything selected but now what you want to do is you go to layers or actually select refine edge and let's zoom in a hundred and on shift edge basically you want to bring in all the way down until you don't see the white no more so still kind of harsh so on feather you can bring it up a little bit and on smooth The smooth is not doing too much to it, but let me see the zoom out, see how it looks. Alright, the edge I think is too much. Alright, let's see. Alright, that should be good. Let's click OK. So now go on the top layer with that selected, click on mask. Alright, let's zoom in. And you can still see all the low strands. So if you disable the uh, multiply layer right here, you can see how everything disappears. So there's a little bit of white right here, but if you spend more time on it, just uh, masking it, uh, doing the uh, the dodge tool, then it will come out way better. But I'm just trying to do a quick tutorial, show you how the channel works. Let's zoom back out. And then last thing I like to do is add an adjustment layer. So go down here to adjustment hue and saturation and on this blending mode have it on soft light and then since the background is kind of bluish purple click on a uh, colorize and you can move the slider any way you want so move kind of bluish purple to match the background and then saturation you can bring it up as much as you want So that's with and without the adjustment layer. So basically that's pretty much it. How you mask out hair. Um, my advice is the more time you spend on it, the better it's going to come out. I kind of rushed it, but... Alright, I'm going to show you how... Um, I don't know if you guys seen the uh, the cover I did for uh, Tiger. Year of the Tiger. I used this... Um, let me pull it up real quick. I use his background for his um cover. Let me bring up the cover real quick and show you. So that's the background I use. The same way I masked out the hair, the same way I did with this. All you gotta do is go to the channels. I'm gonna do it real quick.
usually I find the blue is always the most contrast. So I'll duplicate that. Okay. That's only one visible. Invert it. Command I. I'm gonna do this pretty quick. Bring the levels up. So now I'm gonna try to bring it where all oh, this is dark and this is all light. Click OK. The lasso tool. I'm gonna go around here real quick. So I'm going to fill this with white, and I'm going to fill all this with black. Make that black. Oops. Alright, so I'm going to burn all that. So since it's rocks, you ain't got to be too perfect. Dodge this. Increase the brush. So I'm going to go in and do it pretty quick. If it's not dodging it, probably change it to mid-tone. Bring back the highlights. The more time you spend on it, the better the masking. should be good it's like RGB go to layers select load selection blue copy okay and then command J to duplicate whatever you selected so if you disable this you can see all oh, that's masked out so hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any comments any questions please leave it below the video and if you'd like to see more tutorials, just uh, visit my website, noiseworks.com.